Attention, we have a letter being delivered from the Muskogee Creek Nation on behalf of Muskogee Creek spiritual leadership in opposition to Cox City. I came all the way on the Trail of Tears to deliver this letter to you folks. Um, we want you to know that the contemporary Muskogee people are now making their journey back to our homelands and hereby give notice to Mayor Andrew Dickens, the Atlanta City Council, the Atlanta Police Department, the Atlanta Police Foundation, the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office, and so-called Cop City, that you must immediately vacate Muskogee homelands and cease violence and policing of indigenous and black people in Muskogee lands. We also ask for an independent investigation into the assassination of our relative Tortuguita and that the charges be dropped against Walani forest defenders. According to the history of Muskogee peoples, we originated in so-called Georgia near the Ochizi Creek in the valley of the Okmulgee River as individual tribal nations. We lived as stewards and in relationship to this land for more than 13,000 years until the illegitimate state of Georgia negotiated with the tyrant Andrew Jackson for the militarized for the militarized force removal of Muskogee and Cherokee relatives to Indian territories. Mayor Dickens, can I give this letter to you? Oh, he got one. <laughs> Mayor, we want to Mayor talk to Dickens, you about I our homeland. The Muskogee Creek people. Should I keep reading? Yeah. yeah. Georgia is the birthplace of oppressive policing, originated with the indigenous genocide and the Trail of Tears, and the capture and enslavement of African descendants seeking their freedom. Our ancestors who are buried here continue to suffer while the city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia deploy the very same escalated military tactics against black